Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, January the 24th. It's year two. It's week three after Epiphany, and it's week three in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 120 and 127. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 1 to 14. And a canticle from the uh, prophet Jeremiah, chapter 31, verse 10 to 14. Our name is in, our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and by what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I call in the hour of my distress, I call and you answer me. Alleluia. Psalms 120 and 127. I call in the hour of my distress, I call and you answer me. O God the Most High, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceit. What shall God pay you in return, O treacherous tongue? Arrows sharpened for war, and coals red-hot blazing. Alas, that I abide a stranger in Meshech, dwell among the tents of Kedar. Long enough have I been dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. If God does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If God does not watch over the city, in vain do the watchers keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when God pours gifts on the beloved while they slumber. Yes, children are a gift from God, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. The sons and daughters of youth are like the arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of those who have filled their quiver with these arrows. They will have no cause for shame when they dispute with their foes in the gateways. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I call in the hour of my distress. I call and you answer. Alleluia. The lesson is from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. Now even the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly sanctuary. For a tent was constructed, the first one, in which were the lampstand, the table, and the bread of the presence. This is called the holy place. And behind the second curtain was a tent called the holy of holies, and in it stood the golden altar of incense and the Ark of the Covenant overlaid on all sides with gold, in which there were a golden urn holding the manna and Aaron's rod that budded and the tablets of the covenant. And above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot speak now in detail. Such preparations have having been made the priests go continually into the first tent to carry out their ritual duties. But only the high priest goes into the second, and he but once a year, and not without taking the blood that he offers for himself and for the sins committed unintentionally by the people. By this, the Holy Spirit indicates that the way into the sanctuary has not yet been disclosed as long as the first tent is still standing. 
This is a symbol of the present time, during which gifts and sacrifices are offered that cannot perfect the conscience of the worshiper, but deal only with food and drink and various baptisms, regulations for the body imposed until the time comes to set things right. But when Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls with the sprinkling of the ashes of a heifer sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia! Hear the word of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia! A Song of Jeremiah Hear the word of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Say, God, who has scattered Israel, will gather, and will keep Israel as a shepherd, a flock. For you, O God, have ransomed Jacob, and redeemed Jacob from hands too strong. They shall come and sing aloud on the heights of Zion, and they shall be radiant over your goodness over the grain and the wine and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their lives shall become like a watered garden, and they shall never languish again. And then shall the young women rejoice in the dance, and the young men and the old shall be merry. You say, I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. I will give the priests their fill of fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my bounty. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the word o, of God, O nations, and declare it in the coastlands far away. Alleluia. Alleluia, O tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.